Right now, so many of us hear the word climate change and we, we, we go inward, we get scared, we feel anxious. And I think part of that is because sometimes the solutions feel out of reach. So to be able to use this opportunity to demonstrate solutions in action that people and young people in particular can touch with their own hands and see with their own eyes is going to spark the hope that we can come up with these solutions. And if we do so at scale, it's gonna be the real thing that saves the whales. Ms. Blue is an 87 foot long blue whale that washed up on Pescadero Beach in 1979. She has educated millions of people about her species and ocean conservation for decades. And she has now become this community icon. People from Santa Cruz and beyond know Seymour Center because of the blue whale skeleton, because of Miss Blue. She's going through a restoration process because a couple of years ago, we discovered that the metal structure holding up the bones had begun to rust away and the bones themselves were decaying and decomposing. Miss Blue was a living, breathing creature who stands for science and conservation and protection of the world's oceans. And so the thought of conserving her bones by wrapping them in plastic or using synthetic foams or other damaging materials for the environment was something that we could simply not stomach. The idea that we would doom this majestic being to ending up in a landfill someday. We are so lucky to be working with an extraordinary team of people on this project, like Patricio and Nathan at Swell Cycle. Any consumer or producer of goods and materials in this world has a responsibility to think about the, the impact that you're having on the world. What we're doing here at Soil Cycle is exactly that, is can we turn the trash that is all around us and be able to actually turn that into treasure in ways that other people currently aren't doing. So our printers take in uh, energy from the solar panels and this waste plastic to be able to create these high performance structures, such as surfboards and whale boats. We're actually really looking forward to printing the bigger bones that would be literally impossible to do in any other printer on the market. So we've created our own printers that can make these bones in one to two pieces, which is really exciting. There are a lot of advantages to what Swell Cycle does. We're able to create these structures extremely lightweight. As a matter of fact, about a tenth of the weight of what the real bone structure would be. This is a, a fantastic example of, of our capabilities to be able to print these large format structures and ensure not only they will last longer than traditional methods, but also their higher performance and zero waste. As a matter of fact, neg negative waste. Also, we have international collaborators like Frank Hadfield and his team from Dinosaur Valley Studios in Alberta, Canada. Our goal in this project is to change the way we approach the building of these exhibits. This approach has never been done before where we're using sustainable, climate-friendly products. So the cradle mount support system that we've designed here eliminates the need to drill or any invasive procedures on the bone. We merely support it and it's held in place by gravity. Therefore, you can remove the bone for study, repair, anything like that. Hopefully, by using these climate-friendly products, we can change the approach to exhibit building worldwide. We're also collaborating with Dr. Marco Rolandi, who's an engineering professor at UC Santa Cruz. And he and his team of undergraduate and graduate students are literally inventing a new product, a bone repair agent made out of shrimp shells, which we are going to use to repair some of the bones. Using climate-friendly materials, we feel that we can accomplish groundbreaking new approaches to restoring Miss Blue. This should be the way things are replicated. Eliminate waste, have faster turn around production, 
uh, and just create things that look awesome and perform better than traditional methods of manufacturing. So for us, it's a no-brainer, and we really hope that the rest of the industry and, and, and world end up uh, adopting this method of manufacturing technology, and uh, hopefully we can all live in a better place. So Ms. Blue has already educated millions of people about her species and the ocean and ocean conservation. And now when visitors and families come from all around the country and the world to see her skeleton, they're going to learn about blue whales, yes, but they're also going to see with their own eyes climate solutions in action. So that the kids that come and see Ms. Blue walk away feeling not anxious about climate change, instead excited and empowered to be the solution makers of tomorrow.